Today on Garden Fork, learn how to build an IKEA kitchen island. Stay tuned. Hey everyone, welcome to Garden Fork. We're here at a uh, renovation project we're working on. I'm going to show you how to build an IKEA kitchen island. We're going to use IKEA cabinet, IKEA butcher block, and a dishwasher underneath. There was a homemade counter here that Brian just took apart. We have an empty space here. So we're going to have a corner here, corner cabinet, dishwasher, butcher block countertop. All right, so first we're going to assemble the cabinet and show you how to do that. Just follow the instructions, it's very easy. Somewhere in here are the instructions. Brian couldn't find them. I, there's some stuff over there. When you're assembling this, you can use your screw gun, but set it to a really light torque setting. A torque setting usually on the top here. Like that. Don't over twist these. It's a bad thing. When you're putting this together, there's little key things that I found that really helpful. You have to pay attention to the hole patterns on different things as to where pieces that look similar go. If you notice on these two, the holes here are opposite, and this one, the holes are on the same side. So in the instructions, you can figure out where these go here. Just a little helpful for Brian because he was having a problem. I, I was I get very like spatially confused with these with this. Um, I love IKEA, man. It's like boom it's done. Right. When you're nailing on the back piece, don't skimp on the nails because this adds structural strength to the cabinet, and it can be a little tricky. Um, but a little bit of practice, you can do it. If I can do it, if Brian can do it. All right, time to put the carousel in. This is much easier to put in before you put the whole cabinet with the doors on. Learn from me, all right? But the carousel's neat because put a ton of stuff in a corner cabinet. Ready? You ready, Brian, to learn? All right, the feet, we use the inexpensive plastic feet. We go on like that. And I like to put a screw in. Hold it in. Good to go. Turn the knobs to level your cabinet. And also, install the carousel before you put the top on or the doors on. It's much easier. Corner door. Ready for the top. Uh, there's an IKEA logo on the bottom, so you want to make sure that the top is the top. But we just uh, dry fit this in. You should uh, coat both sides of this with oil that comes from IKEA before the final installation. So this is a piece of uh, very thin plywood with a finish side to it. That's going to be the back of our kitchen island. Here's the top with our butcher block. And then we built a support out of some scrap 2x3s here to hold up the end of the butcher block. And that is screwed in to the tile, below the tile, under the subfloor. You look like the guy in this old house. The tool belt. Don't let it fool you. I don't know what I'm doing. We have the dishwasher in now, and now we're going to put the sides on here. We use some lightweight plywood, primed it on the finished side. We cut it to fit, and now we're going to put it in. How is it possible that it fits so well? That's because you cut it, not me. Some, some. Not too many nails, okay? Not too many nails? No. In case we have to take this apart. So what do you think? I think it's great. Not bad, huh? Considering I built it. But Brian helped. He was a great help. These two are a great help too, as you can tell. We have more DIY and IKEA themed videos. There's a links right here for that. There's also links below as well. And if you like our show, would you hit the subscribe button? We post stuff every week. It's free to subscribe. We have new shows. You're biting my legs. <laughs> the Labradors have their own channel. There's a link below for the Labrador channel if you like to watch these two big goofs. But Garden Fork is cooking, gardening, DIY, and my loud neighbor. Somebody else is DIYing.